Hello everyone. Hope everyone are doing good. I am ready for today's class. I am Sri Lakshmi. In this class, I am going to teach you about geometry. Before going to start our class, I would like to share few points. First, maintain a book for mathematics separately and note down all the topics whichever you are learning in your daily classes. Okay. Before starting the actual part of the geometry, first we will brush up our basics. Geometry. First thing we uh, the first uh, thing we face in the geometry is a point. This is a point. Okay. A point is a dot. Okay. Next. Line segment. This is a line segment. Line segment starts with a point and ends with a point. And these two points are fixed points. Many of you may have confusion between line, line segment and arrow. In this video, we will get a clear information about line, line segment and arrow. Okay. For line segment, this is a line segment, right? For line segment, both A, B are fixed. A, B are fixed points. A and B are fixed points. Fixed points means if this line is of 5 centimeters, this line segment always will be only 5 centimeters. We cannot extend it more. Okay. This is line segment. This is a point and a line which has two points, one at the end and one at the start, one at the starting and one at the end of the line is called a line segment and a line segment has two fixed points so we cannot extend them. This is called a line segment. Okay. Next, third one is line. Third, line. A line is a straight line which has an arrow at the starting and at the end. If for suppose this line is of 5 centimeters, we can extend this line rightwards and leftwards. Means this arrows A, B are not fixed. Okay. A, B are not fixed points. This is the major difference between a line and a line segment. Okay. Line has no fixed points. Line segment has two fixed points. We cannot extend them. But a line we can extend them in both the directions and the points are not fixed points. Okay. Now fourth one arrow. Arrow is also called as a ray. Okay. Why it is also called as a ray? I'll explain you. See, arrow is a line which has a fixed point at one end and a movable point, non-fixed point at one end. For a like arrow, we can we cannot extend one side, but the other side can be extended. This is not fixed. This point A is fixed and point B is not fixed. Point A is fixed. Okay. Point A is fixed and point B is not fixed. Now tell me what is the difference between line, line segment and array. Okay, ray I said. Now why I call it as ray? For suppose, see, sun. What we call the light coming from the sun? Rays, right? Why? Because sun rays are extended on the earth, onto the atmosphere, but it has a fixed point. It comes from sun. Okay. Are you clear with the line, line segment and arrow? Okay. Next. Fifth one. Fifth one is intersecting lines. Inter. Setting lines. What do you mean by 
intersecting lines. If this is one line, this may be a line segment or a line or anything. Okay, this line I am calling this line as A and this line as B. The line A and line B are intersecting at this point. So, these two lines are called intersecting lines. Okay, that may uh, intersect anywhere. See like this, it may intersect like this. It may intersect here like this. Means the, the lines which are meeting at one point are called intersecting lines. Okay. Next, sixth one. Parallel lines. Parallel lines are two lines of equal distance. Means the length of the two lines should be same. Parallel lines. The length of two lines should be same and we can extend these lines on the both sides but length L should be same and these two lines will never intersect. If these two lines are intersecting then we cannot tell that these two lines are parallel lines. This will never intersect. Okay. Never intersects. Okay, next two has two lines should be of same length. Two lines will have same length and these two lines will never intersect. Such lines are called parallel lines. Okay, next. What are the topics we learned uh, till now? Point, line, line segment, arrow. Intersecting lines and parallel lines. Now, next, eight. Next, we are going to learn about polygon. What do you mean by a polygon? A polygon is a diagram which may have any number of lines. This is a polygon. This is also a polygon with three sides. This is a polygon with one, two, three, four, five, six lines. Okay. And see, I said polygon is a diagram with any number of lines. Is this a polygon? No, because this has a curve. So this is not a polygon. Okay. See, the points joining two sides are called vertices. This point is called vertex. Okay. This side, this line is called sides. All these are called sides. Okay. Here we will learn angles also. The line which is making some angle like these lines are having some angle between them. These are called angles. Okay. Next. Clear with the polygon? Yes. Next we will go to quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is a diagram which has four sides. Only four sides. Count one, two, three, four. This is a rectangle but it has four sides. So it is called a quadrilateral. This is rhombus but this is also a quadrilateral because it has four sides. Okay. See. What is this called? Just before we learnt about angles, vertex and side. These are called diagonals. The longest lines joining the opposite angle. See, this is one angle and this is the another angle. These two are called opposite angles. These two are opposite angles.
the line joining two opposite angles is called diagonal. Diagonal is a line joining two opposite angles. Okay. Next. Next we will learn about curves. What is a curve? See. This is a curve. This is a curve. This is a curve. Curve is a diagram which is not in straight line. Okay. This is a curve. And in curve we have closed curve and open curve. I will explain you what is closed curve and what is open curve. This is a circle but the starting point and ending point of the curve is at the same point. So this is called closed curve. This is a closed curve. Okay. If the starting point and ending point of the curves are not same. See, this is the starting point and this is the ending point. These two points are not same. So this is called open curve. This is a open curve. Clear with the curves? Okay. Next we will learn about circles. Circle is a closed curve. Sorry, this is a spill up. Circle is a closed curve which is drawn by placing a compass at the center and with equidistance it is making an arc like this. See, like this. If, the, if my thumb is the point and marker is the pencil, with the equidistance we can draw a circle like this. Okay. The dot. This is called center. Center is the point. Center is the point from where we are drawing the circle. Okay. The distance between center and at any point of the arc. At any point of the curve. See. This. This is called radius. Okay. The longest radius is called diameter. See. Sorry. The longest line passing through the center of the circle is called diameter. Okay. Here note a point that diameter is always half of the radius. See, this is the full diameter, right? Half is this, right? Half of the diameter is radius. See, from any, from center to any point on the circle, if you draw a line, that is the radius. So, half of the diameter is radius. So, what I can write here? Diameter equals to 2 times radius. I am representing radius with R and diameter with D, center with C. Okay. Clear with radius, center and diameter. Next. Chord. What is a chord? Chord is a line joining two points on the circle but it is not passing through the center. If it is passing through the center, it is called a diameter. If a line is joining two points on a circle and not passing through a center, that line is called chord. Okay. Next, tangent. Tangent is a line, is a line which is passing at one point of a circle but not, a, only at one point. See, only at one point it is touching to the circle. This is called tangent. Okay. Next. Segment. Segment is this part is called segment. Okay. This is arc and till that chord this is called a segment.
segment segment of a circle okay two points on a circle is called an arc this is an arc okay if we draw two lines like this from a arc this portion of the circle is called sector hope everyone understood this video thank you